Does Tribulus Terrestris actually increase testosterone? I'm Dr. Veena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and welcome back to my series on testosterone boosters. Before we get into this video, I just want to take a quick second to tell you about my brand new free ebook called Better Sex, Better Life, where I have compiled my top 10 tips to help you improve pleasure and have the best sex of your life. Make sure you check out the link in the description below to get a free copy. So what is Tribulus terrestris? It is a plant. It's found in warm, temperate, and tropical areas like Southeastern Asia and Africa. And it's similar to fenugreek, which I talked about in my last video, which, because it has high percentages of steroidal saponins, in particular protodiosin. And these supplements are known also to increase nitric oxide activity. So let's get into the data. There was a meta-analysis looking at four major studies investigating tribulus terrestris in terms of its impact on testosterone. Now, two of these studies used a patented extract called Trib Gold, which contains 45% of steroidal saponins, and the other two used Tribestan, which delivers 635 milligrams of furostanol saponins. Now, as a total, all four studies looked at about 300 men, ranging from 18 to 65 years of age, and they had anywhere from 21 to 80 participants in each study. Now, three of these studies found no statistically significant difference in total testosterone after supplementation from the beginning to the end of the study, and this could be anywhere from four weeks in some studies to up to three months after supplementation. Now, there was one study that did show some significant improvement. This study recruited 70 men who also had erectile dysfunction as well as urinary symptoms, known as lower urinary tract symptoms. Now, this is important because the thought was that men who were given testosterone may have worsening lower urinary tract symptoms because it might cause the prostate to increase in size. Now, this has later been debunked in terms of the newest data with the Traverse trial, but it's important at some point that these men were recruited into these studies to see if there was an impact on their urinary symptoms. So in this study, men were divided into two groups. 35 received 250 milligrams of tribulus terrestris three times a day for three months, and the others received a placebo. In this group, they did find a significant increase in total testosterone of about 27%, as well as improvement in erectile function. They saw no worsening in their urinary symptoms, which again is an important finding. In terms of side effects, they did see some small elevations in liver enzymes in the study as well. Now, what about tribulus in terms of sexual function? So there have been some studies looking at tribulus for the purposes of erectile function. One of the major studies was done in 2017, which was a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trial. Now, these are, again, the highest level of evidence because we take groups and we have a placebo arm that's getting something they think is going to help them compared to someone who's getting a treatment. Because we know that in some of these placebo-controlled trials, the placebo effect can be very strong, particularly in erectile function. It can be as high as 40%. So we have to make sure that are they getting better because they're taking a pill that they think is going to make them better, or is it because of the active ingredients in the supplement itself. So in this study, they had 180 men from ages of 18 to 65 years of age who had mild to moderate erectile dysfunction, and they could have also had some what we call hypoactive sexual desire disorder or a low sex drive. 90 of the men got tribulus terrestris and 90 got the placebo. In this study, each patient in the treatment group got 500 milligrams three times a day for 12 weeks, so 1,500 milligrams total. Now, in terms of evaluating these men, they looked at certain things to assess sexual function. One of them was a validated questionnaire called the International Index of Erectile Function. Now, this is sort of a gold standard questionnaire that we use all the time that's been validated to show a correlation with erectile function. They also had other questionnaires to look at satisfaction. So at the end of the trial, they saw a significant increase in their sexual function score on the IIEF, as well as improvement in satisfaction with sex, orgasmic function, desire, and overall satisfaction. In this particular study, they did not see any adverse effects or side effects with the supplementation. Now, in another meta-analysis that combined this study with two other studies, 
which for a total of 272 men, again, they did see a significant difference in terms of the men who got tribulus and their improvement in erectile dysfunction. However, the other two studies that I'm not going to go into too much detail of had a high risk of bias. And this was because they saw problems in the design of the studies. So there was problems in the randomization process, in the recruitment process, as well as the deviation from the initial study design in the intervention. And lastly, some of them reported only very specific results. So this makes us less confident in their findings. In terms of side effects, they're very uncommon. However, they can include things like stomach cramps or reflux or heartburn. There's also been some case reports of both kidney and liver failure after taking this supplement. It can also interact with other medications which are used to treat diabetes as well as high blood pressure and maybe even some blood thinners. And lastly, with a medication called lithium. So what do I think after reviewing the data? I think, yes, there may be some benefit in terms of sexual function based on these findings. However, in terms of testosterone, I'm just not convinced. The data does not seem very encouraging and the number of studies that have shown positive results are very few. So if you're curious to learn more, I've included links to all the studies in the description below. And often on most of my videos, I have links to all the research that I've done for the video in the description as well. Now, if you want to learn more about testosterone boosting supplements, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss my videos. This entire summer, I'm talking about testosterone boosters every week on Monday. So check it out and um, let me know what you think. And as always, we're going to take care of yourself because you're worth it.